Today, let's see if I can show you some tips and tricks that might just help you get a great deal on your next sailboat. There are quite a few things you can do to increase your chances of getting a better deal and save yourself some money when it comes to purchasing a sailboat. So let's not waste any time and get right to it. Number five is very important, so stick around at least until that one. First up, step one, location, location, location. Did I mention location? Supply and demand is one of the most basic economic principles, and it is certainly true when it comes to finding a fantastic deal on a sailboat. If you were to shop where there are more boats available, not only will you have access to easily being able to compare more boats, but you will also tend to find that they create a lot of competition for each other. Oftentimes, this leads to them being priced a bit more aggressively. To compete with competition, you need to be competitive. Huh, that's a mouthful. Places like Fort Lauderdale, Annapolis, and other large sailing centers in the United States are some of the absolute best places to look for a sailboat bargain. To expand on this concept further, the type of boat you are looking for can determine what may be the best possible location to search. If looking for a modern, let's say, production boat such as a Beneteau or Genoa, then the Caribbean might be the best place for you to start your search. Those types of boats are very common here in the Caribbean and are widely available for sale. This is due to several reasons, one of them being boats aging out of the charter fleets. Another reason is it is also very common for people to spend a few years sailing the Caribbean and instead of sailing back to the mainland, they will just leave their island hopper here and list it with a broker. I'm currently in the Caribbean and I can verify this firsthand. Expanding on the same concept even further, the Panama Canal can be another great place to locate fantastic deals on sailboats. Something very similar happens there that happens in the Caribbean. On the Pacific side of the Panama Canal, oftentimes people at that point are no longer interested in continuing to sail. They leave their boat there and it sits and sits as the price drops. Some stunning deals are to be had on the Pacific side of the Panama Canal. Step two, narrowing down your choice in a sailboat can often, oddly enough, increase your odds of finding a better deal. Once you have narrowed down your search, you now know exactly what you are looking for and things tend to get a bit easier. You can then Put the word out online in far more places than you would ever be able to in person. Posting on forums and sailing groups can lead to some fantastic insight on boats that are not widely listed on a public sail platform such as Yacht World. If you were to post on a forum, let's say, looking for a 40-foot blue water capable boat, you will get several responses with boats that the majority most likely won't meet your criteria. The more specific you can be, the better. If you were to post, let's say, looking for a 2006 to 2011 Beneteau Oceanus 40 footer, two cabin owner's version, that leaves no room for wasted responses. You can not only post that on sailing forums and groups, but you can then take it a step further and post it in those specific Beneteau owners groups and possibly find one at a great price that hasn't even been listed for sale yet. Step three, whether you have a certain criteria and are looking for a specific boat or you're just starting the process and are not sure what you are looking for, your local sailing community can be a fantastic place to start your search. Go to your local marinas, local sailing clubs, and yacht clubs. Spend some time searching the docks, meeting the local sailors, and looking for that elusive for sale by owner's sign. Exchange contact information with sailors 
and let people know who you are and what you might be looking for. If you already know, that makes it easier. But if you don't, this can open up opportunities to see several boats locally without the need to drive or fly all over the country. Become a member of the sailing community. Interact and contribute to the local sailing community in your neighborhood. Even if that's just sharing a beverage and stories with local sailors, this will lead to insights not available anywhere else. Step four, the unicorn known as for sale by owner. This can save a ton of money as there will be no broker fee. You can always go to your local title company and for just a few hundred dollars, get all the necessary paperwork taken care of versus paying brokers a large commission. This can add up to thousands of dollars saved very easily. You have a better chance of finding these by following step three. Number five, this is a very important one. Do a pre-survey yourself. I will link a video in the description on how to do a pre-survey yourself before hiring a surveyor. You should always hire a marine surveyor when purchasing a sailboat as well as have a rigging inspection done. But those costs can and do add up quickly when you consider haul out, sea trial, survey, and rigging inspection on multiple boats. So you wanna make sure that when you choose to have your survey, that you have thoroughly looked over the boat yourself and located any major issues that a surveyor would have found in the first five minutes of looking at the boat. Just some simple, basic knowledge of things to look for can truly save you several thousand dollars. This can keep you from having multiple boats surveyed and spending that survey money, hopefully, only once. So don't forget to check out the video that I'll link in the description for this. Number six, don't be afraid to make an offer. Never be afraid to make an offer on a boat. If you talk with any sailor at any marina that's a full-time liveaboard, you will always hear stories of people getting boats for up to 40% less than asking price. Not because they rip somebody off, but because they happen to be at the right time and place and were not afraid to make an offer. Worst case they can do is say no. A good idea is to try and contact the owners or the owner's broker and just be honest with them. Get to know the owners and tell them your situation. You have X amount of dollars to spend. You absolutely love the boat. Unfortunately, this is the max that you have to spend. However, this is how you will take care of the boat and your intended uses for the boat in the future. Oftentimes, people are emotionally attached to their sailboats. So sometimes, getting to know the seller and letting them know that you will be the best caretaker of their boat might just get you the boat deal you always dreamed of. Number seven. So this is kind of a bonus, but if you happen to have Kindle Unlimited, there is actually a free book called Champagne Boating on a Beer Budget shown here. It's free with the Kindle Unlimited subscription. There's also a Facebook group under the same name ran by the author of the book. In the book, there's some great information about finding sailboat deals. The group itself occasionally has some amazing deals pop up as well, but I'll leave joining the group up to you. As with any Facebook group, well, you know, we have all joined at least one group and I'm sure we have all left at least one group. So joining that group up to you, but the book is free on Kindle Unlimited and free is a great price unless it's a free sailboat then that's usually terrible if you did find any of this information helpful please give the video a like leave a comment and subscribe as it really helps thank you for watching